Hi, welcome back to the video series on GDPR. Last video we spoke about personal information and what that means to you as a business. This video we're going to look at some of the myths associated with GDPR and how you can make sense of it so you're focusing on the right areas to make sure that you are compliant by May of next year. So the first myth we're going to talk about is the myth that only major data breaches are to be reported. So this isn't always necessarily the case. It's all about the risk. You've got to look at the impact to the rights and freedoms of the data subjects that's impacted by it. You need to be thinking about the containment. So is the risk still there? Has it been contained? Is it localized? Also, how much information has been compromised? Is that information direct? Is it indirect? Because that, that will tailor how you deal with it. On occasions, you may have to inform the data subjects when a breach occurs. This will help in the containment of the breach and it will also go towards your publication to the ICO. Number two, all details need to be included when submitting the 72 hour breach notification report. And sometimes this isn't always possible. Key things that you need to focus on when, in, when writing that report is the scope of the incident, the cause of it, the mitigating actions that you've put into place and how you've addressed the problem so far. Okay, eventually a full report will need to be submitted to the case officers. Okay, number three, so failure to report a data breach will automatically lead to a fine. Okay, so yes, at this stage the ICO could issue you a fine. However, what you've got to think about is it's the proportional risk to it. So first of all, are you a repeat offender? Have you done this before? Is the scale and scope of the data breach significant enough that it would warrant an automatic fine if you didn't let them know? So there's some key bits of advice from the ICO. So first of all, if you're being upfront, open and honest with them and you've reported it without undue delay, that will go in your favour. Full link to this article and some more advice from the ICO, you can find in the link below. Number four, so the GDPR is all about punishing businesses and that the fines are the biggest thing to worry about. So yeah, the fines are absolutely significant and can be quite large. However, this isn't something that we need to dwell on. So if we look at the current legislation, the ICO published some interesting stats that said out last year, out of the 17,300 cases that they investigated, only 16 of them actually led to a fine. GDPR will only strengthen the powers that the ICO have to enforce these actions. However, if we continue to focus on the protection of data, we'll stay on the right hand side of that. So I hope that helps quash a few rumors and to give you a little bit more clarity around what to expect from GDPR. The next video, we're gonna focus on the data protection bill and how that's linked to the GDPR legislation. Thanks for watching.